to record a message for you to help you get settled down on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I've got to tell you, there's nothing to worry about, and you'll get by. So, let's just focus on getting it from your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Great Bazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Bazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached, and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years that I'd ever got about, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and you need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware... The characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. And uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the fight of 87. Yeah. yeah it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal world. You know? Now, now concerning your safety, the only real risk to you is a night watchman here, they Benny. It's the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Brave Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a pretty Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad. If the suits themselves weren't built with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine why having your head forced to be pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. The only parts of the would like me to see the light of day again would be your eyeball and teeth when you pop out the front of the mask. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day today, Breeze. I'll challenge you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Back and serve power. Alright, good night.